So my name is Nick Guida. I'm the founder of Tamarack Aerospace Group. It's a it's a, a talent pool of engineers and mechanics and uh, all kinds of talented people that have come together with a really neat idea. What we're doing is um, active winglets. Winglets are great. Winglets, when you put a winglet on a, on a plane that's already existing, it increases the aspect ratio, artificially increases the aspect ratio, makes the airplane more efficient. Somewhere, anywhere between four and seven percent. You can see all the Southwest Airlines have winglets on them, aftermarket winglets, and increases the efficiency. But the downside is that it changes your lift distribution pretty dramatically, so you have to re-engineer the wing and make sure the wing is strong enough, because the original engineers had no idea that you were gonna put winglets on the airplane. And what I came up with was an idea that at one G, you're flying around with winglets on it, and your stresses are higher, and your bending moments are higher than, than um, the OEM expected, but the OEM didn't design the wing for 1G, they designed it for 4Gs, or 4.5Gs, like on this plane. So you end up at higher, higher elevated load factors, you basically mitigate the winglet, turn off the winglet, the aerodynamic effects, because during these high G, very rare high G occurrences, you don't care about efficiency for that fraction of a second. So let's just get rid of it for that time. So let's just get the winglets, let's get the winglets gone. So the way you get rid of the winglets is very quickly, you pop up these devices. These devices are, or down, these devices are continually monitoring uh, the flight conditions to see what the load factors are and airspeed and all those types of other things, flap settings. So what happens is when the airplane starts to re respond uh, to an inertial to respond to a gust or maneuver, these pop up very quickly. The gust on this plane happens in about 342 milliseconds. So when within a tenth of a second we're in position for that load factor already mitigating this winglet. So now it makes it like the winglet's not even here. So if the wing was not here, then we're back to where the baseline design loads were. So the whole point is to cut down on the um, certification time required, and almost any plane now can have winglets because we don't have to uh, totally reverse engineer the wing or put a whole lot of metal or structure and reinforcements in the wing to, to make the, air the wing strong enough to take the new load. This is a completely automatic system. The only, th the only feedback he has uh, is that there's a light on the dash panel. If this system fails, uh, and it doesn't have power to it, they float in about this this uh, setting, about maybe four or five degrees, they come up and they just float there. And then the light comes on and you slow down to 119 knots. The feel to the pilot is no different. There's in, uh, you'll see that in a second, but as you're flying, when even in really bumpy weather, uh, the pilot that does not come through the stick, the auto, we've flown with autopilot, I mean, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't make any difference to the pilot. If this system jams, let's say it jammed up for some reason, um, then you can trim it out with aileron and continue your flight. Slow down to 119 and then continue your flight. The system is a ten, one, time, uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 8th reliability. So that's a very, that's called um, extremely improbable. Uh, but we are still doing that kind of testing, flight testing and analysis to show that even if it did happen, that you'd be fine. That's less than, the, that's less than, uh, that's more reliable than your engine. The price for this is $59,000 is what we're expecting right now based on our uh, based on our cost of goods and our margin. Not a high margin pro product for us, but we use this airplane to show the FAA. We're already designing and flight testing other airplanes. Winglets are most efficient at high altitudes. So airplanes that fly at high lift coefficients are the ones, the, the real benefits for winglets. So this is a kind of a, um, uh, What's the word? Technology demonstrated to the FAA, but we're already working on faster, higher airplanes.